Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 in our Viking roleplay series. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to address one thing that is still being brought up. I had uh, mentioned this several videos ago uh, about uh, me not celebrating Christmas and that we have our own little personal holiday here and I'm still getting like people asking questions about that. Uh, so just to quickly address it, uh, the, the holiday is called Dia Nostrum and is Latin for our day and it's a made up family holiday. So those of you who are looking it up on Google and you're not finding it, it's because we just completely made it up. Uh, we've been celebrating it for, God, I don't know, five years now. Uh, we do it every year in November and it essentially just replaces our Christmas since we don't celebrate that. Uh, so it's it kind of fits more with our schedule. We don't have to worry about doing it in December when everybody else is doing their holiday. And uh, we don't celebrate Christmas, which a lot of people ask me about. I had like four people ask me why I don't celebrate Christmas. Uh, one, I'm not Christian. Uh, we're not we're not Christian, so we don't really have a religious reason to. Now, I know a lot of people uh, celebrate it who may not be Christian or may not be very religious. So you don't have to be Christian to celebrate Christmas. But I feel like, uh, you know, we don't have that reason. And we don't have any other reason to celebrate it either. I don't have a like a traditional reason. You know, a lot of people celebrate it as kids, so it's like a, a tradition they've been doing all their lives. Uh, I think I had two Christmases as a kid, and that was when we got, uh, you know, they have like programs for poor kids where you can get like uh, people buy presents for you or whatever. Uh, we participated in that twice, so we got presents those years. Other than that, we just didn't do Christmas because we were really poor. My mom wasn't really around much. And then uh, that was my childhood. And then after that, I ended up in, being in the system, group homes, foster homes, stuff like that. And uh, they don't really do Christmas because everybody goes home for Christmas. Uh, most people go typically go to their back to their family, go somewhere for Christmas. So I was always kind of by myself at Christmas time. Uh, I didn't have any uh, anybody to hang out with because the facilities, whether it's the group home or the foster home, everybody was gone. Uh, so I was always by myself. So Christmas was for me kind of more of a depressing time, not really a happy time. It was just a time where I was alone. Uh, so I don't really have a tradition at all of celebrating it. And then finally, both my wife and I, because uh, she did celebrate as Christmas uh, as a kid, but both my wife and I kind of agree that it's not a great holiday. <laughs> if you like it, that's great, but I feel like it's over-commercialized. It's all about spending money you don't have to buy crap that you don't need. Uh, you buy crap for people that most of the time they're not going to appreciate it. And I mean, not everybody, of course. Uh, but a lot of times that seems to be the, the case uh, when I've been around her family at Christmas time. They all take the, everybody takes the presents back and, and everybody wants to return them. Uh, there just doesn't seem to be a general appreciation for it. Uh, it's, a, it's a time of spoiling children where children just expect to get a bunch of presents and stuff. Uh, and I don't know, it's just, for me, it's just over commercialized. Uh, it doesn't really have any purpose besides spending a ton of money. Uh, it's where Americans, uh, and I guess all Western society, spends an insane amount of money um, that they, they then spend the rest of the year having to pay off. Like uh, the majority of Americans, for, for instance, uh, go in debt uh, to have Christmas. Uh, and then they have to spend the rest of the year working to pay that debt off from the last Christmas just to do it again for the next one. Uh, that's when the, the majority of uh, the, the money is spent here in our country. Like that is crucial to our economy, of course. Uh, so it's, it's good for that reason. But frankly, it's, uh, I don't know. It just doesn't seem to have any purpose. You know, I'm not religious, I don't have the tradition of it, and I don't really like the holiday, I don't feel like it has any meaning. Uh, so that's the reason why I don't celebrate it. Not against anybody who does celebrate it, of course, it's most people do. Uh, just, we uh, made the personal choice not to. Uh, so I wanted to fill, because I've already answered, like, yeah, I think four comments now, uh, you know, between Discord and and uh, YouTube on why I don't celebrate Christmas. So that's why. Uh, and a lot of people also wondering what that DNA Nostrum was. Just a made-up holiday, that's all, guys. Just something we have. Uh, we don't really... Sometimes we do presents. We just do whatever we want. Uh, play video games together as a family, like Minecraft or whatever. Just kind of hang out and enjoy the day together. Uh, just have a little holiday. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into it, guys. Uh, I just wanted to address that just because I've, I've had so many people ask about it. Uh, so uh, we're going to get started with a few things before we unpause. So I wanted to go to low uh, centralization, and everybody supports this as well. And this will allow us to have a, a more, um, you know, more counties under our control here. Uh, so, overall, it should end up resulting in more money and, and more troops for us since we are over our limit right now. And you, you saw that everybody's supporting it, which is interesting. I'm a little bit surprised by that, in fact. Uh, let me just take a look at our council. Oh, yeah, because everybody loves us on the council. Look at that. Look at all these loyalists we have. Yeah, we just kind of run the council, and that's because we have done so much for all these guys. Uh, giving them new lands and titles and stuff and minor titles uh, Speaking of minor titles, the other thing we need to do is we just got that eunuch in the last episode 
So let's go ahead and make him the court eunuch. I didn't even think about that fact. Somebody brought it up in the comments. So yeah, it makes sense to make him the court eunuch. Uh, since I can't really give him any other position at the moment. So we did that. The other thing we need to do is arrange a marriage for our youngest daughter. And we're just going to go with the most powerful one here. Which is a boy, a uh, seven-year-old boy. Uh, we'll just arrange a, uh, a betrothal. And he's over here. He already rules these two counties. And he's also heir to a much larger bit of land here. Uh, this guy, who happens to be his heir as well. Uh, all this land here. He's the heir of this. So if he does succeed uh, him, which he doesn't have any kids and he has a wife, so that could end up changing. Uh, so, But he does have the chance uh, to, to gain all this. Remember, it is voted in as well. Uh, they do have a, you know, the same type of succession as we do, I think. And so we could still end up with this, even if he does have kids. We'll just have to see what ends up happening here. But yeah, if he gets all that, that's even more power. So yeah, why not? Let's do that. Oh, he looks like, oh yeah, he has this as well. I didn't realize that. Yeah, he has all this too. So he's actually fairly powerful for this area, I suppose. Uh, and will be if he gets this as well. Uh, so I think he's a good match. Uh, so let's go ahead and arrange that marriage. For him and our daughter, or betrothal, I should say, since he's only seven, so it's going to be a while uh, before he's able to actually get married. Let's go and send that off. And there we go. So Oslog will have a uh, uh, marriage in many, many years from now. It should be, uh, it should be in her 20s. And I think that's all. Oh, wait, wait, the Great Works. That's the other thing we need to do. As I was gonna say, I thought that was all, but no. Forgot all about this one. So uh, based on your guys' comments in the last episode, some people... There's one person who said they wanted the Great Stone Circle. Uh, it seemed a lot of people were in support of the ruler statue, but it seemed like the only reason why they wanted the ruler statue is because it's uh, the years. Uh, this is the only one out of the the choices that we we had uh, that we had I had given in the last episode uh, that we're gonna get in eight years. Uh, the rest of them are like twenty or twenty plus years. Great Harbor twenty years, twenty four years for the Great Lighthouse, and people really wanted it in eight years so that he would be the one to complete it. Uh, I feel like. Which he, he might not even complete that. He is 54. I feel like great works are meant to be something that you do uh, over many characters. Uh, we did that in the uh, last series as well. That great work we did. It took, I think, three characters to get it completed uh, with all the stuff on it. And I'm okay with that, guys. I feel like that's what they're meant to be done. Yeah, I'm fine with it taking 20 years and three months. There's no reason to, to you know, not let this be completed over another character. I don't feel like this character has to have it done. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that, guys. Uh, let's get the Great Harbor. And it's interesting how we always seem to have... And, and I went with the Great Harbor rather than the uh, the Lighthouses because the Great Harbor had, like, I think three people uh, supporting that while the Lighthouse only had one. Uh, so that's why I did the Great Harbor instead of the Lighthouse. And this one is a little bit quicker as well. Uh, so uh, we're getting this constructed. This is the first stage here. And then we once we get that completed, uh, we'll then be able to build something else here. Uh, some Some additional bonuses. Uh, so, I don't know how long this first stage will take. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Uh, so we'll just let that uh, let that get started. All right. So I think we can finally uh, play it now, uh, and we are going to be losing a ton of money now. Uh, my son, uh, my young son, smiles broadly. And okay, that's right. We asked him at the very end of the last episode uh, to join our order, our society. Despite your best efforts, you've thus far been cheated of a glorious death in battle. Sadly, you no longer have the endurance or constitution necessary to sustain your berserker rage. Perhaps such things are best left for the youth. Alright, so that's unfortunate, because that's a big part of our uh, personal combat skill. And it's a big part of our, our uh, martial rating as well. We're getting old, guys. We're getting old. So we lose the berserker trade. And characters like this are meant to die young. Or at least, you know, die in battle. Uh, how can I rely on my generals when they understand? Okay, so we can go ahead and train up our commander here uh, and we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, light foot leader and he has agreed to the marriage or to the betrothal excellent and looks like there is a war okay the Jarl there has declared war raises troops up well, that's fine uh, so what I want to do here we still have the, the law passing uh, but what I want to do is if we don't get a mission to go looting then I think, and we're at 75%, so we're getting that done. Uh, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and, and work on declaring war here. Now, we've been trying to get a claim, I believe. Maybe we haven't. I might not have. Yeah, we've been trying to get this, this claim fabricated. I'm not entirely sure where this character's at. Let's take a look. Oh, he's trying to fabricate a claim there. As this country here, we have not gotten a single fabricated claim done. I don't know if tribes have, like, a less of a chance to do it. 
uh, or if it's just because we've been doing low raid and chancellors for the most part. But we have not succeeded at one claim attempt, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to do this the uh, old-fashioned, challenging way, just one province at a time. And remember, we're trying to get this one, and we're trying to get I think this one right here. Uh, so I think, rather than snaking up this here, I think we're going to go for this one first. And go ahead and grab these provinces. Uh, so we only need one more. We've been trying to get that, and then we can get this one. Uh, so, and it's still going to be kind of snaky in a way, unfortunately. But yeah, I think we're going to go here uh, and try and grab that. Uh, grab that next. Uh, so, probably just going to declare war on him. Are we ready? Let me just take a look here. We need to build up our troop numbers a bit more. Okay, well that'll give us a little bit more time to try and get uh, this fabricated claim done, though. I just don't expect it to get done. It looks like it's a 3.97% uh, chance. So it's it's pretty rare, pretty unlikely, I should say. Uh, and then we'll declare war. Well, I guess we'd have to declare war on him. And we would do the, uh, the border dispute uh, for this one right here. So that's what we'll be doing. Uh, but again, let's build up our troop numbers a little bit more uh, because he does have only 3,000, but he's got all his allies, all his vassals, and they have thousands as well. Uh, so you know what? Let's just get up to, I don't know, maybe 10,000. We did just go raiding, uh, so that's part of the reason for that. Uh, we're going to get more uh, troops as well now that we have uh, uh, gotten that law passed. So we just take a look at this now. Uh, I want to see when we get the law pa uh, the next law. Uh, 916. Okay. Uh, so if we take a look at our military, uh, so it's still at 11,000. That might go up, though. All right, so my son my son has joined me for dinner tonight, but not said a single word for what feels like an eternity. When I try to coax something or some conversation out of the boy, he mumbles, I'm not like you, father. Face red with shame, I failed my initiation right. God damn it. <laughs> okay. I expected more, honestly. Floki. He failed again. I mean, it's that personal combat skill. Oh, he's a craven now, too. A lustful, wounded craven. <laughs> okay. Oh, he got a swollen ankle in his battle. You'd think with with his uh, dual victory and his dual experience, he'll eventually get high enough. I don't know. Uh, right now, he's obviously pretty low because he's got all these injuries and stuff, but he's just uh, a disappointment to his father. All right, so we have this one again, which we will definitely lose. We always lose this. Uh, we have yet, to, and I don't know if it has anything to do with diplomacy now because uh, this guy's garbage at it. He's considered the best speaker. Yeah, I don't think it does. I don't really know what it has to do with it, uh, but we'll just go with that one. Since he's the crampiest, but it's considered the most challenging. Uh, so, let's see what we want to go with. So this is uh, more effective towards a lustful opponent. Is he lustful? He is not. Uh, he's a kinslayer, though. Uh, we have somebody warn him that he won't be paid by word. Uh, so that's envious and uh, shy opponents. Let's see if he's got any of those. He is envious. All right, so the next one is for ambitious or proud. Let's take a look if he's got any of those. He does not. And then we've got this one, which is because we're cruel. And this line tends to be more effective against kind opponents. All right, so let's go with the, the envious and shy one, right? Yeah, we'll do that one. He, he teases me by claiming he might need to yield to me since looking at my face is already too much of an offense for him to bear. And the crowd is snickering at us. And we lose our temper, of course. We almost always lose. <laughs> uh, he started mocking us after we defeat were defeated, reveling in shame for my loss. Uh, so we can then challenge him to a duel. And who is this guy, anyway? Okay, so he's on over here. Interesting. I was I was wondering if he was going to be that same character whose heir was the one we just uh, arranged a betrothal with, which that is not the case. That would have been really nice. We could have challenged him to a duel here and killed him, and then we, we would have our daughter would have benefited from that. Uh, that's not the same character, though. Uh, so we can say, I will make you eat those words. We'll lose prestige and we'll lose renown. Uh, this is it. From now on, we are enemies, and then we become bitter rivals, uh, and then we storm out. And we say, enough of this game. Okay, uh, I think that our character is one, highly aggressive, very violent, and very angry. Uh, so yeah, I think, um, he, yeah, he's not a berserk anymore, but he's still cruel, and he's still angry. He's still got the wrath, because uh, remember we got that back after we lost it. So yeah, I think he would uh, make him eat his words. He can't handle being made fun of. And he's chosen to accept our challenge to personal combat. Uh, what is this, uh, his personal combat skills garbage. All right, so we're gonna do the duel. 
uh, and it was too easy, of course. Uh, and so we can show no mercy, which is typically what we do. Uh, we usually kill people, so <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. And now he's dead. All right, uh, one way is, okay, so we just got another uh, mission from you know our, our society here uh, to do another duel. Okay, let's take a look at him. He's got a decent, pretty decent personal combat skill. Again, not anywhere near ours, uh, of course. We've got uh, extremely high. Look at all that dual experience, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and accept it, of course. And that should help us uh, push this even further. We're at seventy-nine percent right now. Uh, we're probably going to complete that immediately, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and do that now. So one duel after the other. We didn't get injured or anything, did we? No, I guess that was a pretty easy one. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, challenge him to a duel. Uh, wait a minute, it's not an option. Hmm. Okay, you can't have recently been in a duel. All right, so do we have to wait for our duel victory to expire in 913? Maybe. So it might be a year or so before we're able to do it. No, that's okay. Uh, so looks like this guy's the another kid in prison. Yeah. I never did deal with the prisoners. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have time before we started recording today. We could always deal with them now. It's kind of a, I don't know, man. It's kind of a pain in the ass, honestly, with this many this many prisoners. I guess we can deal with some of them because we have like 40 of them. Uh, so let's just take a look here. I mean, you can deal with also kind of mass deal with them as well. Uh, but I don't like doing that because there's some people we don't want to let out of prison. Uh, we want to keep them, keep them here. Uh, let's close that. So we got an event here. Uh, so this Poison Tooth guy, that's his nickname, uh, he's a veteran in our lodge, he's, la he's a lacking duelist, okay, so another one of these ones. Uh, so he has a combat rating one, I guess we'll do this one, confidence one, it's the only way they win. <laughs> they never win when you do the other one, uh, so, oh, she ran away. Alright, she refused the duel, probably because she was really bad. So he's trying to arrange a uh, betrothal with our other daughter. And we're going to decline that. Again, we're going to wait to marry her off, if at all. Uh, so another one of our prisoners, more than likely. Yes, has finished up there on their education. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, I'm always trying to see who these are. I'm typically not letting a lot of these Christians go. Uh, but this one, she's really young. So let's let her go. Uh, loyal servants such as I uh, surely deserve. So who is this? He's the lecher, and he is the chief, way over here. This guy doesn't really like us because he's considered a powerful vassal, and we haven't given him a position in our court. Uh, so it is widely known you hold huge lands, many titles, and as generous as you are wise. So he wants us to uh, give him uh, one of our chiefdoms, and uh, this greed does not become of you. I'm not giving you that title, man. That's just going to make him more powerful. Uh, and he's going to be even angrier. And so she did accept the ransom, which is nice. Uh, how are we doing on money? All right, we're not losing as much as I thought we were. Maybe I should have waited for that to update. I thought we were losing a lot of money. Uh, and the betrothal can happen here between these two. This is our half-sister, and I think this must have been asked for. Uh, let's just go ahead and say yes. We arranged it, or I don't remember doing it, but we did. So I'm sure it's fine. And then we have... Our granddaughter. Okay. All right, so we have a granddaughter here. Uh, she needs, uh... Oh, okay. So his kids, so despite the fact that we got rid of him, his kids are still here. I got it. So we're, we're in control of his kids. That's interesting. Well, let's go ahead and pick a focus here. Let's uh, tell her humility, because your father should have learned that. We'll teach it to his daughter. <laughs> so, uh... Okay, so they're going to get married now. And that means she'll leave the court. And uh, war camp has been constructed in our capital. Awesome. So uh, let's go ahead and get something else completed here. Uh, we're going to go with... Let's go with the practice range. Okay. Lovely. Let's take a look at our military and see how we're doing. Uh, we're at 8,700. We can get up to 13,000 now. So that did change up registered. Uh, the fact that we are no longer over our limit there. And it looks like the Jarl has again achieved another victory here. Uh, so he has now brought another uh, county into our control, uh, but of course, he is now more powerful as well. Uh, so yeah, he is incredibly powerful. And of course, we don't have him on the court. Um, 
Or, you know, we don't have him in our council, I should say. We don't like him. He doesn't like us. Uh, but he is 43 years old, and he has a bunch of kids. And this was pointed out in the comments by somebody. Uh, the fact that he has, at the time, he had said he had three sons, but it looks like he has four now. And so, well, I guess that's a bastard. I wonder how many of these are bastards. Do bastards still inherit? I don't think, it, yeah, not as a tribal, they don't. I wasn't sure if that was the case, us being tribal, but no, nah, the bastards don't inherit either. So, three kids are going to be splitting up that land once he dies. Uh, but he's still going to be a problem for our son, because more than likely, we will die before him. Oh no! Our daughter died, our bastard daughter, who was married off uh, to the king of the island here. Or king, yeah, king of the island. He's not king of the whole island, though. Uh, he has one county that he doesn't have under his control, but yeah, she died at the age of 26 from cancer. She only brought and gave him a daughter as well. That's unfortunate. All right, so she didn't last long enough to give him a son. So that's a shame. He wouldn't have been our, of our dynasty anyways, but it's nice to, to like have a grandson that would have been sitting on the throne over here. Uh, but that is not the case now. All right, so the Arl, of course, thoroughly hates me by now and likely wishes me dead. The feeling is, of course, mutual. So now we can be bitter rivals and we don't need to keep antagonizing him because that's all I really wanted to do. So my work with him is done. And so if we wanted to duel him, we can now do so. Uh, can we duel, though? Yeah, so we still have been in a, uh, It's still too recent since we did a duel. So we can't duel him, plus we have the mission to do the duel. I think eventually we will be dueling him, guys. And who takes over? Just out of curiosity here. And this guy likes us a little bit more. And is that his son? That is not his son. So his son's not even set to be the heir of all this land. Uh, of course, his sons will get some of the land, though. All right. So yeah, maybe we'll duel him after our next duel. If we still are, are around at that point. Uh, let me see how long it is again. Let me see the exact date here. All right, we're emulating that legend. That was our grandfather. Ragnar, and I think we just lost it. Yeah, I think we should be able to do it now. And the Impaler has finally died. He died in the dungeons. Uh, so now his son has taken over. And he didn't. Ha he doesn't hate us as much. Uh, he's not a son of Arnie now. He's a grandson of Arnie. And so maybe we might have better relations with him. Perhaps. I guess we'll see. Is there anything we can we can do to make him happy? Uh, does he want? Well, I guess he's, yeah, he's still a boy. So we'll just uh, we'll have to see what what happens with them. I'd like to have better relations with the county here, uh, with that chief, because we have had a uh, haven't had good history together, man. All right, so let's go and get something constructed here. Uh, we're gonna do probably the house Carl. Yeah, let's do the house car train again. It's gonna be 200 prestige. Uh, it does suck, you know, when you're building, when you're constructing all these buildings with the prestige, it does result in you not really earning much. It's really hard to get kind of high. A lot of that that we've gotten has been from raiding. Oh yes, we have to do the, uh, we have to do the duel. Uh, let's see what happened here though. Uh, it's declared war or spy master. Hold up. Okay, so that's right. We sent him way down there. Uh, but what is his titles? Where is he at? Okay, so he's up here and for whatever reason, he decided to declare, declare war on King Ivar, son of hell of Scotland. Okay, that's a cool nickname, I suppose. Um, but I don't see how he could possibly win. He doesn't really have many troops, though. Uh, so, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I remember, he has his vassals, of course. Oh, yes, the duel. Uh, but yeah, they always seem to be doing some crazy, crazy wars though over here with the uh, the Jarl there. He's been winning them, so I guess there's that. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the duel. And he, ooh, looks like his is okay. It's 48. I thought it was. I thought it was a negative 40. I was like, ooh, what happened to it? Did he get injured? He chose to accept our duel, and we'll fight for glory. Uh, the fight has gone on for what feels like hours. The initial confidence I felt has begun to wane, and my movements are getting sloppy. Then just as my knees are about to give way under me, I injure him. All right, so we finally get it, but it does look like uh, King Knud is having some difficulties uh, in the duels now. Let's see uh, if we got injured in this. Looks like we did not, and we completed the mission. All right, awesome. So with that mission completed, we are now at 86%. So we might get that bar filled up this episode. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, so when do we lose the dual one? Because I want to duel our, our new uh, rival here. We've hated this guy for a long time. It's about time that we met him on the battlefield. We're at 120 personal combat skill, by the way. 
let's take a look at the dual victory. Uh, this will go away in May of 914. Uh, so that's when we'll be able to do that. We're also trying to do the war, though. Let me just take a look and see how we're looking on that. We have the forces. I think we're going to go ahead and do that now, guys. Uh, and we got the practice range. Uh, was that in our castle? Our capital, I should say? Yeah, it was. Uh, so let's go ahead and go with the... Uh, could go with the weaponsmith. My prestige costs here. Getting high, man. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go with the weaponsmith now. And let's declare war, guys. I'm ready to do this damn thing. Let's try and increase our lands. Uh, so we're going to declare war. Uh, what is he looking like on force? His force is a bit lar larger than it was. Uh, so... Let's we'll see if this ends up being a challenge or not. Is it this one? It's this one. All right, so let's go ahead and declare war. That is going to cost us some prestige and, and whatnot, and also affect vassal opinion, but it is what it is, guys. Uh, we can call in our vassals. Uh, they look like they have some troops, but again, not enough. W worth taking the penalty. Uh, I don't really see any reason I'm using those. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take all of our troops here and move them on over to here, or we'll move them right here. And we'll invade. And yeah, these... I should probably look back in here real quick. See if there's any other prisoners that we might want to ransom. We'll look at all the ones that are capable of being ransomed. See if they are ones that we do want to ransom. Uh, we want to keep some of these Christians in here. Uh, but it's okay if we ransom a couple of them. Yeah, we'll ransom her off. And uh, this boy here. We got a lot of Christians from all that raiding that we did. All right, yeah, we'll ransom him off, too. As long as we keep some Christians around. That's 46 gold for that one. Let's take a look at her. She, yeah, she's got a pet rat, too. All right, let's go ahead and try and ransom her off. That's 26 gold. Uh, can't do him now because I think it's the same same guy. Uh, we'll do these. And this. There we go. That's it for now. And we can do the call to glory. Uh, that we do end up losing renown, that gives us more troops, but it's not really necessary. I feel like we have enough troops, guys, uh, to take on Sweden. So, they are agreeing to our ransom, which will be helpful for our war effort here. Some of them declined, though, it looks like. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, he called me pig-headed. That doesn't necessarily mean that he declined. Uh, and we have a Catholic uprising. Okay. Interesting. So that kind of throws off some plans here. Uh, we've got to deal with this uh, Catholic uprising now. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these guys and have them uh, go over to here then. Or just all go right here. And we'll keep these forces going this way. So we'll have two armies for right now. That's fine. We have the forces to, to split to split them right now. Uh, so somebody fancies us. Who is this? Let's take a look at her. She's gluttonous, content, and paranoid. Uh, she's a lowborn. She wants to get married. Does she have any relations or anything like that? She has a rival here. She's a rival with our daughter. All right. So we'll go to her bed chamber. Why would we not? I don't think we're, I mean, we're known as the unchaste. <laughs> I don't, we gotta live up to that name, man. Uh, so yeah, we'll make a move. And let's get all these forces combined. Uh, though it's not letting me merge, I'm guessing. Yeah, we have them still set. All right, so let's merge these guys. We have uh, our commanders in here. Uh, we probably have too many of the good ones here, so let me just go ahead and, and form this one up real quick. Uh, and, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and take. I want to put this in the center like so. Yeah, so we'll do that. And Sophia is currently leading the army, our daughter. And I say, why not? Why not? Let her lead. Yeah, we'll let her lead. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll just keep all the, the good commanders on our side. I guess this is where the, the main force is, so that's fine. So yeah, we'll keep all the commanders there. And then uh, whatever's left, whoever's left uh, here and not leading yet, will sign. Although it looks like we already have all our leaders here. Okay, wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. Is there a force somewhere that I don't know about? No. All right. Not entirely sure why that is. Because, yeah, we have these three here. I guess it's fine. We can just place as long as they're not those, those three. So we can go ahead and place him. All right, and then let's go ahead and move them and move these guys. Attack them before they take our, our uh, city there, our castle. Went to her chamber and had a good good tumble. All right, so let's go ahead and, oh, he's attacking us here. We might end up losing. It doesn't look like we can get away. 
Yeah, I think we're actually going to lose this battle because we don't have our full force here, which is kind of a shame. I was hoping he wouldn't uh, have all his forces ready. I guess we'll just have to defend. Sophia will have a, a loss, unfortunately. Uh, nothing really to be done about it with our main force down here dealing with this rebellion. It's the worst time to have a damn rebellion, and I assume they, they knew what they were doing. Our ongoing struggle outside of Holstein tribe has brought out the best of our military strategists. One of them is a Norse veteran with a penchant for innovation. He's suggesting that he... Okay, so we've seen this event. Uh, so, could have him as commander. 15. He's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, let's do this one. Uh, yeah, let's do that. We'll get that. We're going to lose that battle. Alright, so that should have put the the rebellion down. Let's go ahead and move our, our forces forward now. And it is unfortunate that we're going to lose this. It's a defeat. Lost some troops. They're up to 5,000 now. I hate how ridiculous it is with the casualties. Like, when you win, like, you barely take any casualties in, in CK2 from what I've noticed. Uh, what is this about? It's not against us, right? As long as it's not against us. Okay, yeah, we're good. Oh, okay, I see. I think he's pulled... Alright, I see what's going on. I'm just an idiot. He's pulled a lot of people into the force, into the battle. I got it. Uh, so let's go and offer peace here. Get that done. Uh, so that'll arrest him. And we're going to deal with him now. This Christian. Uh, let's go ahead and probably execute him. Yeah, I'll just execute him for rebellion. And he's dead. Rebels must be hanged. Uh, so, oh, she's now our lover. Okay. Uh, all right, so she is now pregnant. We are very fertile. All right, so we'll have another bastard kid, apparently. Uh, which could end up being an issue. We saw what happened with the last bastard. He ended up getting legitimized somehow. I wish I knew what had happened there. That was interesting, because you would think we would have to have, like, some say in it, or at least, like, a notification, you know what I mean? All right, so he's going to try and get out of here. Uh, so let's go find him. And probably going to have to chase this guy down. That's what it looks like. Yeah, we'll be chasing him down. Uh, damn it, he's probably going to be able to beat these guys. Okay, we can't get out of there. Alright, so as a member of the Wolf Warriors, we strive to bet ourselves in each and each other. One way is the occasional spar match. They want us to do another spar match. Okay, we will do that then. Uh, where are we at right now? We're at uh, 90%. Okay. But we are in battle right now. At war. So we did go after our capital. And uh, this is probably another prisoner. Yep. Alright, so we'll be able to attack him with our combined, like, 11, 12,000 men here. Uh, we're no longer angry. Again. Okay, we keep losing that and gaining it again. Alright, so let's go and attack here. And, uh, should be able to get a victory, and this will be massive, especially if we capture him, which, that's, that's a chance. And, uh, oh, he's back at our court. Say, uh, what? He's back under our control? Hmm. Interesting. He just imprisoned his ass. <laughs> Some people might be angry about that. Okay, well, that's interesting. Hmm. We might have to do something about that, guys. I don't know what happened to him, why he came back after so long. Uh, I thought he was banished, but uh, apparently he's not banished any longer. So we did get the victory. Uh, they got us up to 31%. We did capture uh, this chief here, and we're going to do a sacrifice, of course. And... Of course, he's been sacrificed. All right, so let's go ahead and bring our forces up. We'll try and chase this army down and, and uh, destroy him. Uh, maybe we'll capture... Well, we won't capture the boy. That's right. We really need to just go after the capital. All right, so we'll try and catch these guys. They're not looking very strong now. It's it's one thing I never really liked about CK. Uh, one of my, my few problems with the game is the fact that... Oh, we already captured that. Excellent. And where is... Is this the whole force here? Send it both, then. Oops. Oh, there he is. Okay. Uh, but one thing I, I really didn't, don't like about it is that just like... There, it's never very even, like, casualty-wise. Uh, the, the Victor always takes very little losses overall, while the, the, the Defeated takes massive casualties. Uh, yeah, I, I never really liked that about CK. I think some of the other Paradox games do a little bit better, though, of course, you look at, like, a game like EU4, and uh, they, they take it too extreme, uh, where both sides just take far more casualties than they did historically. Uh, but a lot of, uh, most casualties were not 
Not from battle. And this is our son, which has a very similar name to our other bastard son. He's a weakling, he's a bastard. Okay. We didn't get an event to uh, legitimize him or anything. That's interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and attack here. Uh, we'll have our daughter take... Oh, there it is right there. Have the daughter take the, uh, the province we're actually claiming. And... You know what? We don't actually have to take that. We could always go ahead and go after uh, the capital to try and seize the seize the boy. I think that's what we'll do, actually. Let's go after the capital. And we're going to go ahead and say, I almost want to legitimize him, honestly, just so we don't have that uh, really powerful son of ours taking all the, all the titles. Yeah, because he's going to be, like, stupidly powerful. And I think that that would actually be beneficial because even if he arrested him and imprisoned him, which he might even get away. I mean, it's 78% chance that we just succeed. Let's try and do this real quick. All right, so we actually locked him up. And that, of course, is going to affect opinion quite a bit. And we can finally just get rid of him. And then he'll be a kinslayer. We'll be considered a kinslayer. Uh, or we can just... Um, I wonder if we still get it if we throw him in the... If we, like, torture him or... Well, torturing him would release him. Yeah, if we just throw him in here and then he just dies... Yeah, let's just do this. <laughs> I'm just trying to get rid of him. Because uh, we do not like that son of ours at all. Uh, we had nothing but problems with him. We didn't declare that he was going to be legitimized. It just happened. Uh, so we're going to say... We're going to denounce this child. He's not ours. He's a weakling. Yeah. Uh, we, we would never want a child like this. Denounce him. All right. So we're attacking these two provinces here. It's another victory. We're at 53% right now. Uh, let's go ahead and go here. We got to find where the rest of his army's at. I know he had like a thousand men somewhere. Victory. Captured some people in battle, and that's 100%. All right, so we're going to sacrifice all these guys. And we're at 100%. Let's go ahead and make peace. That was an easy, easy war for the most part. I know we did have the loss there. Oh, wait a minute. Is it because we don't have control? We're at 100%. Don't they have to accept? Oh, it's a 56%. Okay. That's interesting. Hmm. All right, that's kind of strange, but whatever. Uh, we'll go ahead and take these two provinces. That should help it. Yeah, it's a 56% now. That's maybe because we killed the two. Okay, if we hadn't killed them, I think it would have stayed at 100%. Uh, and that would and that put, brought them out of the war because they're dead or whatever. I'm guessing that's what happened. Oh no. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> All right, I thought that was something else. That was us offering. I thought they offered because uh, it said acquaintance. I thought he was captured by our enemies. And then offered up, uh, but nah, he's he's the guy we killed. Got it. All right, so we have this one uh, ready to build something else. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a. Yeah, we'll go with the practice range. Just try and keep them balanced or whatever. I find all the the troop types to be have their uses in the battles. Uh, and how are we doing on money? We're losing a lot of money with our troops up and doing the great works. Uh, so we seize that. We're at sixty six percent now. Is there anything else left to seize here? There is not. All right, so let's go ahead and go here. Can we get from here to here? We can, okay. Just in case they attempt to attack us there, because there's, I think there's still an army floating around somewhere. Uh, so, finished up our education, another one of our prisoners here. Is anybody willing to pay for her? Just take a look. Yes, so we'll ransom her off, I don't see any reason to keep her. All right, so we achieved another victory here, and we're at still at 66% though. All right, and they're pulling more people into the, into the dispute. All right, of course he accepted. A little bit more gold for us. All right, um, and so what I might just do is, as we make these, uh, as we make the, these turn into adults, become adults, uh, then we'll just uh, see if check them for ransomings. Nah, nobody's willing to ransom this lowborn woman. We could actually, in fact, just release her. I don't see any reason to keep her. Yeah, I don't see any reason to keep her. Let's just release her. Could have killed her as well, I guess. I don't even know who she is, though. Uh, 975 guys there. All right, let's see what's going on here. Uh, so we have seized control of that, so there's no reason for us not to move. Uh, this one still has another 
Uh, we've got a temple to seize. All right, so we'll attack there. Got that victory. And I'm just looking for another enemy force. We're at 92% right now. Uh, getting the temple might be enough. But just in case it isn't, we'll go ahead and go here. Oh, wait a minute. He's about to attack us here. Uh, that is a large force right there. We'll try and chase him down. Oh, we don't need to. We just achieved victory. All right, so let's enforce our demands. And there we go. So we did the damn thing, guys. All right, so get our forces back into our own lands. And uh, we're going to need to give out another... Uh, title here, which I'm absolutely fine with giving this one up. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and just give up the new one. Uh, we have those loyal loyal uh, vassals, or loyal servants, I think is what they're called. We'll just go ahead and give it to one of them. Uh, they make great vassals. As you can see, we kind of control our council now because we have done so much to, to get very good uh, vassals here. I'm not sure where they're at. They should have much higher opinion overall. Just looking for them. They're all pretty negative here. Is this one of them? Let's take a look. Yeah, he's a loyal servant. Uh, okay, uh, that tyrant. I know the tyrant rating that we just got for uh, locking up our son is impacting the opinion quite a bit. Almost nobody likes us now. Yeah, we pissed everybody off with that. That's not surprising. Tyr the tyranny is, is devastating. Uh, but you know what? We got lucky with getting our son into our court, and uh, our character hates hates this guy. He's been nothing but problems to us. Uh, so yeah, I definitely see that as uh, being something that he would do. Uh, so, for whatever reason, uh, uh, he's still not dead yet. He's gonna, God, he must have good health already. I know it hasn't been very long, but I don't know. Hopefully he dies soon. Uh, let me see if there's any, we can move him back to dungeons though. Uh, we can still, of course, torture him or mutilate him or something like that, uh, if we wanted to. Uh, but yeah, that wouldn't really fix the problem. Could, of course, execute him, but yeah, that's gonna be more tyranny. Uh, and uh, that will, of course, mark us as a Kinslayer, which another one. I don't know if he's going to go that far to kill his son. Uh, just throwing him in the prison, you know, I think is enough. I think that's all we're going to do. We won't execute him. We won't go that far, guys. Hopefully he'll just die in the prison. All right, so uh, that's right. I was looking to give this title out. And the little servants are basically the only ones who have uh, a positive rating for the most part. Uh, and our lover, of course, I guess that's... Uh, so who won? She's got a decent rating with us. For being a tyrant, I mean. Yeah, I think we'll give it to him. Just take a look at him. He is lowborn, though. Maybe we can find another loyal servant. They might all be uh, lowborn, though. I'm not entirely sure. Got a boy here. Have him. Of course, we have the eunuch. I think that's the only option, guys. Yeah, let's do him. Let's give him a landed title. And we will give him this province right here all right and that will make him like us a little bit more and we no longer have the penalty there and that should overall help uh with opinion too since we don't have more titles than necessary um, but i bet we don't have control of our council anymore yeah no i have control any longer we've lost that all right well that's fine cost of doing business i guess all right so let's go ahead and disband our troops here and See what this is. We can send Sophia into hiding. All right, somebody trying to kill her? Let's take a look. Who's trying to kill Sophia? Can't have this, man. Uh, our daughter-in-law. Oh, yeah. All right, well, we could just arrest her. She's the leader of plot, so nobody will object. We'll put her and, oh, she, she fled, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, we're gonna put her and her husband in prison. Uh, she fled, though. Okay, and she was rejecting seduction attempts. All right, so she's loyal to to our son. Interesting. All right, let's go back into... I'm, I'm just in a completely wrong spot here. Uh, let's go back into plots. See if there's any other plots that are that we know about. Uh, so, again, it's always these guys, even the grandson. Good God, man. So we can't imprison him, and he's the leader of the plot, so let's do it. Failed to capture, he raised his flag in rebellion, so now we got to put him, put him down. Just this, this the county, and I know that they have low opinions of us, uh, but everybody has low opinions of us, yet it's only this county, this family, that continues to be a goddamn problem. I think it's hilarious, honestly. Uh, so we'll have to put them down again. Uh, so let's just take a look here. Well, this is on arrival. We're okay with them doing that. In fact, I kind of want to go ahead and duel him, if we can. Uh, it might not have been, yeah, it looks like it's too soon. Oh, we're involved in a war, that's right, we gotta put down the rebellion. 
Uh, so we'll have to do that now. Just seeing any other uh, targets that we might not want taken down here. On our lover, I figured, you know, I was thinking it was going to be our lover that was, uh, because they're rivals. I was thinking she was the one that was going to be involved in the plot, but uh, the one started the plot. Let's just tell her to end the plot. Uh, if we can, where is that? Oh, wait, we can't have her end the plot. She's a, uh, yeah, she's not the leader of it. That's right. All right, so let's go ahead and, and take this guy down. I might even be able to do it with just this force here. Uh, it might not be enough. Let's just go and raise our forces up again. It's fine, guys. We'll take him out real quick. And let's get all these guys together. And he's locked, so he has to do that battle. And so let's just hurry up and get this done. We're already at 77%. 77%, excuse me. So the siege should be relatively quick. And we'll put him in prison. We won't take his title or anything, although I should. I should take his goddamn title and give it to somebody else. This damn family has been nothing but problems for us. Uh, is this another one of our prisoners? No, this is not. Okay. So, what we're gonna do... We got more people for our prison. Awesome! Uh, so what we're gonna do, go ahead and do is let's uh, make peace real quick. Offer peace. Put him in prison. And... Let's see what we want to do with him. Uh, who's his son? Is it is his son that's going to inherit? Or a brother or something like that? Let's just take a look. It's going to be a brother, so it'll just be another grandson of Arnie, uh, in this case, uh, that would inherit. So it's really not going to fix the problem, uh, honestly, getting rid of him. So we'll just give him prison, just like his father, and he'll die in our prison cells. He didn't learn the lesson. <laughs> we just continue having problems with these guys. All right, so let's go ahead and disband our troops. Uh, move these guys back to the capital. And uh, the duel. Did we lose the dual victory yet? Let's, and let's see, I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, that's what stopped us was the fact that we were at war. All right, so we wanna duel our rival. I know we have the mission, guys, uh, but I wanna do the the, the uh, rival duel first uh, because it's, it's we, this is a man who we have been wanting, I'm just fucking this up. This is a man who we've been wanting to take out for a very long time. Uh, we do not like this guy. He's extremely powerful. I'm ready to split his lands up, guys. Uh, so let's see what happens. I don't think we're going to lose anything. Uh, the death of your tiles might pass from your realm. Oh, interesting. All right. So it could pass from our realm. Because we have this chief here. All right, we'll see what happens. Let me see. Can we uh, offer vassalization? No, we can't. Uh, very few people seem to accept that. All right. Uh, so what we're going to do uh, is let's do that duel, and then we're going to end the episode, guys. Duel that rival of ours. It's about time, and we cannot. Because he's involved with the war right now. All right. So I guess we'll do the, the duel here, then. Uh, wait a minute. We have to duel our own steward? Okay, that's what the mission's for. So that's what we'll do. We'll duel him. But we probably won't kill him, though. Uh, yeah, I don't see any reason why we'd kill him. <laughs> we have pretty good relations with him, for the most part. He likes us. Alright, the duel. The fight has gone on for what feels like hours. Initial confidence. Okay. So, we did get uh, victory, but again, uh, it does look like we've, we're having more difficulty with these these victories. Uh, so, we win in the duel for honor, and he's got a black eye. And let's go ahead and... Is this another? Yeah, we'll go ahead and deal with her real quick. Uh, ransomer. 46 gold, nice. Okay. So, let's pause this, because we are going to be ending the episode. We got a lot done. Uh, gained a little bit more land. We're very close to being able to get uh, this province here, which is key. Uh, we're going to be going after that next. As soon as we're able to, of course, we have a, a truce with them, so we won't be able to do it just yet. We'll go after that, and we got this damn snaky thing. It's kind of ugly. Um, but, eventually, we'll get all this under our control. We could have a war here. Uh, next, uh, while we wait for the truce to end, expand our lands there, or we can go and expand here to connect all this. I think that would probably look better. We might go after that one. And remember, we're still trying to make it up to here, too. So I think we'll go after this one next. Let's take a look here. We'd have to fight. Oh, we'd be fighting all of them. It doesn't really matter. Uh, he owns all this land. Uh, so yeah, we could just go and declare war on him. And I think that's what we'll be doing in the next episode. Uh, so we did finish up our society duel, but we have not yet dueled our rival. 
So that's something I'd really like to do. We're sitting at 97%, so this is almost done. So this will definitely happen next episode, which is exciting because I'm, I'm interested to see how that goes down. Since I've never I've never done that before. And uh, yeah, we're we're looking pretty powerful. Uh, we're getting kind of old though. We're 58 years old. We'll have to see how much longer we can survive. And then we're going to be playing as Floki, which is going to be a very, very different character, a very, very different style of play uh, with his traits. I mean, he's ambitious but and he's uh, gregarious, but he's also lustful and craven, two things our character is not. Uh, so it's going to end up resulting in a very different uh, playthrough, I think. He's a skilled tactician. I, I mean, really, his stats are just pretty average. At least they're not terrible. Uh, it's, it's his personal combat skill that isn't great. Uh, but let's see what happens. Who leads the society after us? Okay, this guy here. Okay. Uh, it's, it's just unfortunate that our, our son died, though. Uh, Seagirder. Uh, it's, yeah, it's real unfortunate. Uh, I think that would have been kind of cool playing as him, because he was a lunatic, wasn't he? I think he was a lunatic. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm not seeing it here. I thought he was a lunatic. Maybe I'm thinking of another character. Oh, yep, there it is at the very end. Yeah, so I think that would have been kind of fun. I never get to play as a lunatic. They always either, they always die right before they come to the throne, or the last time we had a lunatic, he died right after he came to the throne. So I never get to do that, because I think that'd be kind of fun for a roleplay, uh, for the roleplay aspect of it. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching, guys.